Yeah, that one looks as though it's going the same way, Lou. Yeah, well, I reckon we've got a bit of a problem there, Lou, really. Another all-night workshop session looms. The engine will have to be pulled down to find out the trouble. It has to be in the top end. Could try a rebuild, but I don't know if we've got enough bits. Ah, oh, make a bloke mad. Last race of the season and we look like being a non-starter. Look, um, you know, what, what do you think of the program? Well, I think this role has to be replaced, no? The decision finally has to be made. Beachy cannot risk damaging the complex and expensive machine. He is too old a hand to throw away thousands of dollars. He will not start. But he will another day, for another valuable developmental lesson has been learnt. Yeah, well, you're out of the way, Norm. It's bad luck for you, I know, but that leaves uh, one less for us to beat. Here's the start, and McEwen's got the jump again. Masters qualifier Bob James sliding all over the place. Yes, it's McEwen in the Porsche, going to be first into the hairpin, and he'll take some catching in the rain. Thompson second, then Jane, who lost a lot of ground with his trouble off the line. And down the back straight they go. Look at the spray! It'll be interesting to see whether the big cars can take him back. It's Warwick Farm all over again. Into the S's near the pits, and Thompson's trying hard, but he can't get to the flying McEwen. And in comes Jane, he's really flying. But I don't think they're going to do it. The Porsche is home in the wet. And if the rain keeps up, the race is his. For Norm Beachy, it's an odd experience to spectate at a championship event, not to be out there with them, after the effort of getting his car and crew to Simmons' planes. Well, quite frankly, Lou, that wraps it up for the year, you know. We can't start, so that's it, you know. With Beachy out, things are easier for McEwen, and he splashes through the rain to an easy win, earning enough points to come second in the title. Bob Jane ends the season in third place. A one, two, three for Shell. For Norm Beachy, Simmons Plains is a mixture of emotions. Disappointment at mechanical failure. Elation at congratulating a teammate. It's a simple display of sportsmanship worthy of a champion. <laughs>